Okay, uh, here. So, what is cl clustering? Already we have discussed cluster analysis involves applying clustering algorithms with the goal of finding hidden patterns or grouping in a data set. So, let's say that uh, if I have to use data for regression or classification in machine learning, but groupings are not done, to do the grouping, we can use clustering. Clustering will group by data automatically. So how it works? Cluster analysis creates groups or clusters of data, objects that belong to the same cluster or similar to one another and distinct from objects that belong to the different clusters. So uh, depends on you that how many clusters do you have defined. Uh, let's say that I have defined two clusters. So two clusters will be formed there and two centers will be there of the clusters and my data will be automatically clustered in the two group. So depends how many clusters you have defined. So I am going to use k-means clustering. There are different uh, ways uh, to do a clustering. So in this case, k chosen by the person performing the clustering is how many clusters do you want? A seed is a starting centroid chosen at random. Seed means a uh, guess for the center. Let's say in this case we have two clusters. So what is the guess of the center? And this center will move during the clustering, during the iterations to find out the best fit like you in this case you see that this is the first cluster right and this is the second cluster and this is the set right so this way k means clustering works so it calculate the distance let's say that my center is here it will calculate the distance from all the points and then it will take the mean and based on that uh, this uh, center will move and then what it happened in this uh, during the clustering, during the iterations, then assign each point to a centroid that adjusts the centroid. Like this it worked. Okay, so there are some other kind of clustering also like hierarchical clustering, Gaussian mixture model, density based, spatial clustering. So uh, we can use this kind of uh, uh, clustering like uh, here you see self-organization map. So in this case automatically it will uh, extract the uh, number of clusters also if you don't want to provide them manually. <coughs> A good example I will show you that how uh, shops are or industries you may say who are doing the business analyst, analyst who they are, how they are using clustering to identify the type of customers. So here I have the data of customers. Uh, you see that I have the point for the satisfaction that how much my customer is satisfied that is rated between uh, 1 to 10 and the loyalty of the customer is also given here. I want to know what kind of customers are buying my products and what kind of customers are coming to my shop. And uh, based on that, what modification I have to do so I can increase the customer uh, for my company, let's say. Okay, so here, first of all, I am going to read the data. See how it works. Read the data. So we have the uh, satisfaction and the loyalty. Two table we have, uh, sorry, two columns we have in the table. K means clustering and we are clustering in the two cluster and this is the my data. What we will get? Centers. Two clusters are there. Two center points will be there and L will be the uh, numeric index for the clusters. One or two. One means first clusters. Two means second clusters. Fine. Then I am using the group scatter. Data one means uh, satisfaction one and data two is the loyalty plotting and I'm giving the color also based on this cluster which I am getting as output. So see here. So uh, here you see clustering is done, but this clustering is not perfect. Why if I draw this line? It is okay that it is taking uh, satisfaction uh, in the consideration, right? Satisfaction is up applied, but loyalty is not applied. It is a straight line and I am dividing the satisfaction, but I cannot divide the loyalty, right? There is an issue in this clustering. So these things also we have to take in consideration. To overcome this kind of issue, we can use standardize our data. 
so to standard standardize our data just take the mean value and standard deviation like i am taking in the single line uh, sorry with the single function mean and standard deviation subtract the mean value and divide with the standard deviation if you are facing such kind of uh, issues like here you see that uh, satisfaction is taken as a feature but loyalty is not taken right now after doing that I, what i am doing i am using the loops two to four cluster i am doing and i am going to do a comparison means first it will be clustered in a two then three then four and this is very important if somebody is opening the business and they want they want to know about the customers see this graph this is a four cluster and you see loyalty and satisfaction right so uh, this first cluster of clients this one this point right what it says that there are some clients who are less loyal and less satisfied for, 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 uh, about my products means they are not loyal also they are not very satisfied also but you see here there are some customers you see that loyalty is high but satisfaction is low means they are very loyal but they are not satisfied with my products so i require to do something for such kind of clients right so they will satisfied also for my products they are coming so often to my shop to buy my products or if i have any business or if i have any in the factory or something they are buying but they are not satisfied right out this customers this one these are highly satisfied and highly loyal so these customers are very good so we can give discounts also they will come in future also to my shop or to buy my products right so very loyal and very satisfied right and this one these are wanderer less loyal but highly satisfied like sometimes they go in the shop let's say if i have to buy the iphone i can't can't buy iphone if monthly right i am satisfied with the iphone but i i am not uh, very uh, loyal for that means i can't buy so often right because iphone is very expensive for me so this kind of customers are very satisfied for my products but they are less loyal right so they are wonder just they go in the market and they come to my shop sometimes and they buy the product that's all but these customers so often they are coming they are loyal also and they are satisfied with my products also right one example of cluster so lots of uh, examples we can make like uh, uh, see here uh, we have uh, countries and we have the longitude and latitude okay countries longitude and latitude let i have to uh, let that i have to cluster this based on the longitude and latitude and we will see that uh, we are getting the map like we see in the world map after this cluster if i run this see? so uh, again 2 to 7 uh, clusters i am doing using for loop two cluster then three cluster then four cluster five six seven so you see uh, if i have done two clusters only only latitude is taken in the consideration right based on the latitude it is divided this one part and this one part right uh, in the in the case of cluster 3 see uh, this is asia with the europe right this is then the um, east side right and this is the west one right uh, in the cluster 4 you see here uh, this again and in the case of cluster 5 you see that whole europe is almost is divided and this is the uh, russia part of the europe and this is the asian part of the russia right and some part this is about africa and all that right and this other countries are divided like this so clustering is a uh, very useful uh, in some applications it depends that what kind of applications do you have and this is with the seven clusters here